from androgchance.com and in today's video we will make analysis for English Premier League I will analyze every single game and I will also try to find one best bet from this league uh, you can also make the rest of the leagues today I will not make all the leagues but you can make the rest of the leagues I have French League 1, Spanish uh, La Liga, Italian Serie A and German Bundesliga below in the description you will have a link where you can uh, get my betting model and download it and make your own analysis okay uh, first we will also make a recap from the last week uh, and since I started sharing my soccer bets my soccer bets are always on my website on the dogchance.com you will also get link below in the description uh, I pick one soccer bet per day based on my numbers based on my betting models and right now I'm sitting at 40 24 plus 9.37 yield 14.64 percent with positive closing line value numbers and of course I will also post my best bet today on my website uh, for soccer and for tomorrow and also for Sunday okay uh, but let's start with English uh, Premier League I will analyze games against pinnacle odds and we will try to find one good bet okay so let's start So first we will make a recap. So this is from my uh, past week uh, video. Uh, I made one, two, three, four, five recommendation from English Premier League based on my numbers. Uh, and let's make a recap like this. English Premier League, French La Liga, Italian Serie A, Spanish La Liga, German Bundesliga, okay? So those are wins, losses. So we will make a quick recap, okay? So, English Premier League, Tottenham, Southampton, I think they lost against Crystal Palace, I need to check it. Uh, <clears throat> so, Newcastle, Newcastle, no, Tottenham, uh, Tottenham won, Brighton won, Crystal Palace, Southampton lost, uh, Leeds beat Liverpool, that, that was very interesting, uh, and West Ham, this was a pushed bet, so basically uh, one to three winning bets, uh, one losing bet and one push, okay? So we will ignore those pushed bets. Uh, basically, basically went 3-1 in English Premier League. French La Liga, uh, I think both uh, teams were draft. Nantes, I will check just for Nantes, 1-1. Marseille also uh, tied. So it was 0-2. Okay, and we will make, we will check it. Okay, uh, Italian Serie A. Italian Serie A, I had only Roma. It was a winning bet from, yeah, from, from the last week. Uh, Spanish La Liga, Rayo, Sasuna, Bilbao, Getafe. I think all four won. Uh, I had Rayo Vallecano as the best bet from, from, that, uh, from that day. Rayo won. Uh, then we had Osasuna, Bilbao, Osasuna won, uh, Bilbao also won, and Getafe also won. So 4-0 from Spanish League. And German Bundesliga, uh, I had Leipzig and Stuttgart. I also think that they bo both won. So let's check it. Leipzig and uh, Stuttgart. Stuttgart won, uh, Leipzig also won. So 2-0 in in. German Bundesliga. So last week 10-3 it was pretty good based on my uh, projections uh, and let's move to English Premier League okay so for this weekend I will I will use pinnacle odds for this occasion you can use any when you will make analysis of course you will make uh, analysis against your odds and first I will delete all those analyses from last week and let's start with the first game first game Nottingham Forest against Brentford okay so you see how I make analysis so I simply type the teams, Brentford, and then I need to type the odds. Okay, you can prepare this uh, earlier. Two, eight, uh, five, three, four, five. So I will make only for English Premier League, so you will not waste a lot of time. And as I said, you can you can make uh, you can make your own analysis if you get my link below. Okay, so based on my projections, there is small value with uh, Brentford, and I'm looking for this number. Okay. This number should be two or three, so small value is one. So between one and two, it is smaller value. If uh, we have uh, between two and three, so if this number is three, 
uh, then we have bigger medium value and if the number is three or bigger then this is a huge value okay because this will show me uh, what is the difference between my projected odds and bookmakers odds okay so I have Brentford I have Brentford at 2.0, right? Bookmakers have them at 2.62 because of that there is some value with Brentford. So I will check uh, what kind of odds we can get. Uh, and of course, we try to stay away from three-way bets. So you either go with Asian Handicap uh, or X2, X1, or you can go with Draft No Bet. So uh, I would go, in this case, uh, Brentford. Uh, draft no bet and you can get it at around 1.88 I think this would be uh, the best bet in this game okay it is probably not the best bet I think we will find a better bet but uh, I'm making uh, right now analysis for English Premier League so if I need to pick anything I would go with Brentford okay let's go to the next game Leeds United Burnout okay so Leeds beat Liverpool in the last game which was I think uh, pretty surprising for many people once seven five four zero one one seven five uh four zero one and uh four nine four four nine four okay so based on my projections leads is a good bet almost good good value okay so i will check one more time i think this is the best bet so far and this might be the best bet for english premier league as well this weekend so leads uh, at 1.75 this might be the best bet this weekend let's see okay Manchester City Fulham so Manchester City Fulham and the odds 113996 113996 I think there will be no value but let's see and 22 so there is not enough value I would I would skip this game uh, the next game uh, Wolves Brighton Wolves Brighton uh, let's check the odds uh, 3 4 3 3 3 9 3 4 3 3 3 9 and uh, 2 3 also not enough value okay don't get distracted bit with the green number because I'm looking for this number uh, and not enough value okay so small value would be if this number would, would hit uh, number one and this is not enough value okay uh, then we have uh, Everton Leicester City Everton Leicester City let's check the odds 247342 247342 um, I think there will be also no value 3 Three zero eight. Okay, so no value. I would skip this game. As you see, my numbers and bookmakers' numbers are basically the same. Okay, uh, let's move to Sunday games. Uh, Chelsea Arsenal. This is probably the most interesting game for football fans, soccer fans. Despite, uh, despite, uh, I think that there are much more interesting games like Millwall West Ham or something like that. But for average soccer fan in the world, I think this will be most interesting game. Uh, two six seven three five one two six seven two six seven uh, three five one and and two seven six based on my projections Arsenal is a value bet so let's check let's check uh, let's check uh, what we have uh, if we exclude three way bets okay uh, draft no bet you can get it at zero and if you go with plus 0.5 uh, to avoid this so maybe maybe Asian handicap this is uh, maybe a little bit too complicated for a lot of people but it is not that uh, it is not that complicated okay so uh, but I, I would go with safer version uh, or maybe draft no bet so Arsenal should win this game or they should not lose so I would go with Arsenal plus uh, 0.5 1.54 okay uh, Arsenal plus 0 0.5 okay plus 0 0.5 you can also go you can also go draft no bet so this is a uh, pretty big value okay uh, let's go to the next game uh, Aston Villa Manchester United Manchester United the odds 347366 347366 and we have 2.17 based on my projections uh, definitely there is no value with Manchester so I would stay away from Manchester 
uh, maybe small value with Aston Villa, but of course not good enough. Uh, then we have Southampton Newcastle. Let's check the odds. 405375. 405375. And we have uh, uh, 196 on Newcastle. 196. Based on my projections, small value with Newcastle, maybe uh, with with the straight win, okay? So small small value with Newcastle, okay? Newcastle small value, okay? Uh, then we have West Ham Crystal Palace. West Ham Crystal Palace. Uh, based on my projections, Crystal Palace should be at 1.74. I see that there will be small value with uh, West Ham 196355. 196355 uh 432 432 so small value with uh, West Ham okay small value with West Ham and Tottenham Liverpool also good game uh, from uh, the soccer perspective Tottenham I said Liverpool right Liverpool and the odds 335381 381 and 217 so Tottenham is Tottenham is a value here and I would go with Tottenham at 335 or let's check draft no bet or plus 0.5 Tottenham at home plus 0.5 at 1.78 I think this is the best 175 I think this is the best option 175 178 178 this is the best bet i think in this game okay at 178 so tottenham should not lose this game at home so what we have okay we have brentford draft no bet uh, on the road against nottingham forest so if they win a game it is a winning bet and if they lose a bet it is a losing bet and if it is a draft your money is refunded Leeds is the I think uh, pretty good value against Burnout. So if you want to combine uh, one bet with uh, uh, with more than fifty percent of chance and uh, uh, and the home win and this is this is a good bet. So two point seventy eight in adjusted Kelly criterion. No value in this game. No value in Wolves Brighton. No value in Everton Leicester. And then we have Arsenal against Chelsea. Uh, I would go with Arsenal plus 0.5 or draft no bet. This is based on my projections, the biggest value bet so far. Arsenal is the the number one team right now in English Premier League, right? Uh, yes, Chelsea lost against Brighton, Arsenal. I would go with Arsenal draft no bet. I think this is Arsenal is probably the best bet this weekend. And then we have Newcastle, uh, small value. Uh, uh, we have small value with uh, we have small value with West Ham. I didn't type it. West Ham, and we also have nice, nice value with Tottenham to not lose at home. So uh, my I I would say the three best bets this weekend are Tottenham to not lose against Liverpool, Arsenal draft no bet, and Leeds to win against Burnout. Okay. So that's it for me today. I hope my numbers will help you to make uh, better bets. Of course, uh, this is not a guarantee that uh, all these games will be winning bets because sports betting is a long game. It's it is a mon marathon. Uh, if, if you if you make I don't know ten thousand bets and if you win I don't know six thousand bets and uh, uh, lose only four thousand bets, you can still go zero one hundred uh, at the start, right? So this is something a lot of people don't understand. Uh, the most important thing is that you bet only on positive expected value, which means that uh, after your analysis, your odds are better than bookmakers or, or probabilities, if you like. So when I give, for example, let's take this Leeds United uh, example. I give Leeds United 69.07% of chance to win this game, right? So they will still lose uh, three out of seven games if my if my betting model is correct and no betting model is completely correct okay and uh, based on my projections uh, the odds on Leeds United should be 1.45 bookmakers offer me 1.75 what that means that means that if I bet 100 American dollars or pounds or whatever you bet I would expect that someone someone and this is a bookmaker in our case will pay me 45 American dollars okay but 
when I check bookmakers odds, they're willing, uh, they're willing to pay me 75. So I get more than I would expect. And this is the whole concept of sports betting. The, the winning sports betting is not about uh, finding winners because this is not how you will make money. You need to find uh, you need to find betting opportunities where you get more than you would expect. And this is the whole catch of sports betting, okay? Because nobody can predict the winner. I cannot predict uh, the winner in this game because I don't know who will win this game. Maybe, as I said, uh, Leeds will still, if my betting mall, correct, uh, betting mall projections are correct, Leeds United should still lose 3 out of 10 games. And maybe this game is exactly the one that they will lose. So I don't know. I cannot predict the winner. What I try to do, I try to bet on positive expected value. And that's all, okay? Okay, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope my numbers will help you. Uh, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Because I see, I don't know, I have uh, hundreds of views or maybe 100 views. Uh, I, I receive 10 emails about soccer bets. And then I only get... I don't know, four or five likes. Uh, so if you want to support my future work because I do this in free time, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. The more people will come to my channel, the more I will gi give you the value, the more I can I can share uh, free stuff. And this is how you will support my free work, okay? Uh, so please like the video, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends if you think they will also get some value. And always remember, never blindly follow anyone picks. Uh, always make your own analysis and uh, don't forget to sign up for free betting course because I can show you how you can become a winning sports better in the long run without following picks, without waiting for me, without paying for sports picks. Uh, and I will teach you how you can build your sports betting mall and how you can become a successful in the long, in the long run. Okay. So that's all for me today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.